Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So do you guys know when you're doing a clue scroll or a quest and you just need an item for it, you pop an offer on the Grand Exchange and all of a sudden you're out 900k for a brown apron? Well maybe that's just me, but well anyway, what I want to try to do today is harness that by going on an account and finding uh, highly used clue scroll items or quest items and scalping them for all I can. Yes, I'm a greedy bastard. But I want to see how much money you can make by having a bit of patience, a bit of ingenuity, and finding items that people desperately need and upcharging them a shitload. The more I kind of uh, vocalize this, the more of a piece of shit I sound like. But anyway, I'm doing it anyway. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. Now what I pretty much need to do is go through the wiki and find uh, clue scroll items or quest items that are used. However, they need to be items that are not easily obtainable or just more obscure items. For example, leather boots are never really going to work because the volume of leather boots coming into the game for other reasons is just way too high. Obviously the same thing for stuff like blue wizard robes, blue wizard hats, uh, steel plate bodies, that is never going to work. We need to find more obscure items. We're looking for items like maybe the air tiara, the bronze spear, turquoise robe bottoms, like there's a lot of weird things on here that have very low volume in the Grand Exchange because what we're pretty much banking on is uh, there being no other offers in the Grand Exchange, someone really needing one of these items and overpaying for it. Now this will require a lot of patience but first up here I'm going to go through a bunch of different items, pick up some potential ones and we'll move on from there. Now what I've gone ahead and done is narrowed down the list of maybe 100 or so items uh, to maybe around 15 or 20 interesting ones. Now pretty much I took away any of the items that were too common or easy to obtain. From there I mostly also removed any items that were just clue scroll rewards or not really obtainable in a consistent manner. As I don't really want to just be flipping these items because I think that's a little bit more boring and I do that a lot. So I want the item to be craftable or obtainable easily enough from a drop. That way I can obtain the items through a more common method, resell them for a good amount of profit. Now I went through all of the emote clue items and here are the ones that I kind of kept. Uh, we have the bronze spear, uh, which is actually purchasable from a shop in Karamja, I was very surprised. We have the blue robe bottom, which again is obtainable from a shop. Uh, the bruised blue snelm, uh, which is actually an item craftable from the blamish blue shell, which is a 100% drop rate item, uh, which actually if you remember a year or two ago, I made a ton of money just killing these things because they are worth 10 or 20,000 each. So I'm very optimistic about that item. We have the Bone Dagger, which is obtainable from a shop. The Adamant Halberd. Uh, the Split Bark Body and Legs, which are both craftable, although I do need to buy all the supplies myself. But keep in mind, I am really hoping to gut people for the price, not just get a nice margin. We're hoping to really take advantage of people. Uh, we have the Castle Wars Bracelet here, the Death Tiara, as well as the Nature Tiara, and the last up here of the Spined Chap. I'm going to be starting with uh, maybe 100,000 GP and let's see how far we can make it. Okay, now the very first item I want to try here is the Bronze Spear, uh, which is actually obtainable from this guy right here, I believe. Oh, actually they're poisoned, but that doesn't matter too much. We can just remove the poison. Uh, so they're only 26 coins each. I'm just going to go ahead and buy out a full inventory or two. Now the reason I want to do this one first is the Bronze Spear does not actually appear to have too many people selling it right now. Now this is a clue scroll item and on top of that I don't think many people realize you can buy it from a store. Uh, we're trying buying one for 5,000 coins. Might be a bit of a waste here but no look at that 5,000. And we're gonna leave these in for a while see if we get any sales. If not we may reduce in price. Okay so the next item I'm looking for here is the Blamish Blue Shell and we're looking for specifically the pointed one. Now this item is barely traded in the Grand Exchange. I mean, I mean, for good reason, who wants to come get this? However, it actually is used in a clue scroll item, and I believe I could sell these for maybe 10,000, even 20,000 coins each, and considering it is a 100% drop rate, is really, really good. Now, the only kind of annoying part here is we need to run around and find a snail, but yeah, pretty much all you need to do is run around the Mauritania swamp, get in revenge on those dumb snails that used to attack you. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and collect a full inventory, and we'll come back in a little bit. All right, well, that took... I don't know, 15 minutes to get a full inventory, but that was just AFK waiting for this uh, snail to spawn. But there we go, we got a full inventory. I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the Grand Exchange quickly because I want to go get a burrito. Um, so yeah, we're going to hopefully make around 350k from that. Okay, so I was just about to go get the bone weapons, but then I realized I haven't done the quest on my main account. That's 
pretty damn sad. So I'm going to try for the nature tiara and then maybe the death tiara after. So we're just going to go ahead and buy them for, uh, I guess, a thousand each. A bit of an investment. Actually, they're quite a bit cheaper. 824. So then we need to bring 30 tiaras. Go for 30 tiaras. We'll run them into the abyss, go to the nature altar, and then we'll turn them into nature talisman. Then we'll turn them into nature, then we'll turn them into nature tiaras. Uh, which are a requirement for a clue scroll, and I think nobody really wants to do that. Uh, so we'll give it a try. Okay, we have 30 nature tiaras now. I'm just going to chuck them in here. Now, I don't really have a method for determining prices here. I'm just chucking them in. Maybe we'll try putting them in for 7,000. I don't know. Still not a bad profit if they sold for that much, but realistically, we're going to have to wait a while uh, for any of this to actually work. And last up here for right now, I'm going to go ahead and try to buy uh, some Adamant Halberds. They are used in Clue Scrolls. We'll probably just hop between a couple worlds here. We're buying them for 8300 and I'm not really sure how much we can actually sell those for. Five or six, obviously, we can't afford too many of them. I'm going to try selling them for 20000 each. Nobody uses this item except for uh, the Clue Scroll, I think. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But I'm pretty happy with what we got done with only around... Uh, 100k. I'll just chuck them in here for 25k. Why not? And I'm gonna leave this overnight and let's see how this works. Well, uh, it's quite a bit later. <laughs> it's been like a week, maybe even more. I don't know. I kind of forgot I was doing this. Uh, but this is what ended up happening. I would say only on one item we ended up getting like a really, really good margin, and that is the blemish blue snail. The rest of the items, while we did make money on it, it wasn't like Ooh, I totally took advantage of that person. I just, they overpaid a bit. Uh, we didn't have any luck on the bronze spears. We just ended up selling them back for a somewhat normal price. The nature tiaras, I, I don't even know what happened there. They're not even selling for one GP now. We'll maybe try chucking them in for a bit less. I don't know. Kind of a waste of money on that one. We ended up doing one other item, and that is the turquoise robe bottom, which is another clue scroll reward. Again, though, not much of a profit there. Pretty good. We ended up buying them for 200 each. It's a really good return on investment, but... Someone didn't like accidentally overpay that much. I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that that is extremely rare. This is just an experiment, so I just want to be honest and open about what's going on. You do occasionally see random items that were sold for a million GP. Most likely they faked it. I'm sure it does happen. It's just incredibly rare. And even in one week, we didn't have a single completely out of the blue sale. That being said, we actually did increase our money by quite a bit. Like the bronze spears we made around 60,000 GP on. The adamant halberds we didn't make too much on. Uh, the blamish blue shell, very very good. Definitely the quickest item here. Selling some of them for fifteen thousand, and the other at ten or eleven for another ten thousand. That's quite good. We did probably make close to hundred k on the Turkish row bottoms, Turk, and the turquoise row bottoms. Our cash stack is still six times higher. Uh, with very minimal effort, so I can't really complain too much about that. Okay, so next up here, I want to try some quest items. There's definitely more of them out there, although it's a bit harder to find all of the quest items. That being said, there's a lot more options for obscure and random items, so I'm going to do a little research here, and I'll go ahead and pick up some items. Okay, I actually almost immediately found something pretty promising. Uh, the face mask. While it's not selling for a lot, it sells pretty consistently. And it's extremely easy to buy. And it only sells for 200 in the shop that it is sold in. And on top of that, it's really easy to get to. Now the face mask, on top of being used for Slayer, is actually a quest item, which actually makes it more valuable. So 200, if you buy five of them, they are worth 201. So yeah, we can just buy out a full inventory like almost immediately. Almost no increase in price. We'll go over here and bank them. And we could probably sell quite a lot of these. This isn't actually that obscure of an item. So I might go ahead and buy maybe two or three hundred. Okay, that was actually ridiculously quick. And I have a really good feeling about this item. We already got 323 and it took five minutes. Just going to double check the price. We're going to sell them again. 1200 perfect. So we're going to pop this in here for 1199 And that could be about 350,000 GP maybe 300,000 in five minutes. I would consider that to be a pretty good use of time. Now the next item I kind of wanted to look at here is the spiked boot. Now it's not only just a quest item, it's also a requirement for a master clue step. Now let's see if I'm... Um, 3300. That's uh, quite expensive actually, considering the climbing boots are quite cheap. You know what, screw it, let's just start with 15 and see how it goes. And if they're selling pretty quickly, I'll go back and get more. 
Okay, so simply we're just gonna buy 15 pairs of the climbing boots and we need 15 iron bars. Okay, you do need to complete, I think, the Death Plateau quest before you can make these boots, but uh, once we're done, we're just gonna run up here to Dunstan. And uh, I'm unfortunately thinking we're gonna have to do this one at a time. So just on 13 of them, we're profiting about 35k, so that's a pretty good GP per hour, but not exactly what we're looking for, but I'll try 13 of them for now. This next one here is really interesting. We're going to be making Toad Crunchies. Uh, going to be a bitch to make, I know that. But they are selling for 15000 each right now, and the only ingredient that actually is going to cost any amount of money is the Toad's leg, so I'm going to go for 100 And I'm going to see how much money I can make back on that. And we also did sell, notably, one of these spiked boots already. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a hundred of these. It's a total bitch, I'll have you know in advance. You need to use like five different items together and cook them in the gnome stronghold. So this will take me a while, but I'll let you know how long and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, well I don't care how much these are selling for, I'm never doing that again. That uh, didn't take that long, actually probably only like 15 minutes, but God, that was an annoying task. Well, these things are selling off pretty quickly actually, about at the same rate. 300 face masks should last us a while. Let's go ahead and price check the Toad Crunchy just in case. It was at around 15k before. And it still is 14,998. Now we probably didn't spend too much on supplies here. And we are looking to get 734k from that. Okay, that was probably worth it, I would say. And here's another really quick one here, the Steel Spear. Currently selling for 5,000 GP. It is a quest item and actually maybe a clue scroll item as well. I went ahead and bought 23 of them, just took a few minutes, and it's worth 100,000 GP, so we're going to leave that in there. We'll find a few more items here, I think you get the idea, and we'll check back in the morning and we'll see how profitable and viable this actually is. Alright guys, it is the following day and this is where we stand. Uh, quite a few sales, I'm pretty happy overall. We ended up selling like 150 of the face masks, and they are still coming in, it's just... It's slow but consistent. Uh, we also ended up selling all of the Steel Spears off for 5,000 GP each, which is really, really good. Uh, about a third of the Toad Crunchies and about half of the Spiked Boots. I'm just going to hit Collect and we'll see how much money we're at right now. I, we're actually over a mil. And on top of that, we still have around maybe six or 700k of items still left in here. Okay, now we've successfully gotten around 900k in profit so far with very minimal work. And we have successfully upcharged Questers by quite a bit. Yet, we haven't really gotten that 1 million GP sale for a random item. And honestly, I don't think it's worth going for. There's definitely no harm in throwing in a random offer on your main account or maybe just an alt account you have. But in my opinion, it is kind of a waste of time to attempt to do that on a specific flipping account or intentionally to try to make money because it is just so rare. It will be a waste of time, a waste of an offer slot, and a waste of membership if that is your only intention. That being said, finding items like this can give you a really good return on investment and really good GP per hour when you're gathering them. So I think in total it may have taken me an hour to buy or collect all of these items and when they all sell we could probably get maybe 2 mil which is really good considering we started with almost no money and a lot of these methods have no requirements either. So for an account just starting off I would highly recommend it. It's really fun and there's still an opportunity that you get an actually massive margin from someone who desperately needs the item. Well, anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's little experiment. Let me know what you think about it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.